Hello everyone, I'm Chen Yao Wang, I'm a fourth year PhD student in Information Science at Cornell University. My PhD research is designing privacy preserving relive experience in virtual reality. The main motivation behind my research is that I want to transform the way people share experience. Today we share our experience through photos and videos. However, it only allows us to relive the experience through the perspective where the camera was captured. By utilizing computer vision technique and virtual reality, I want to let user can relive their experience in VR socially. Just like you and your friend take a VR time machine, go back to the past experience and relive together in VR. Along my research, I want to explore three main research questions. How this new socially relieving experience in VR can transform the way people share experiences and how this reconstructed VR relay experience can affect people sharing decision and privacy concerns. When this privacy concern, how do we design a better mechanism to improve privacy without degrading viewer experience? In order to answer those research questions, I outline my research as three-stage research. In the first stage, Relay in VR. I present a Relay in VR prototype in the last year IEEE VR. In this prototype, you can imagine the system will capture users' movements and everything changed during the, the gameplay. And then when they relive the experience, that they can not, instead of like co-watching a video, they can actually go back to the original experience together in VR and view the experience from any perspective. The system will reproduce and replay the recorded data to allow people to see every detail what happened in the original experience. So they both see each other, they can move around independently, view the experience from different perspectives, and also view a recorded version of the users did whatever, uh, whatever the user did in the original experience. After that, we conduct a study with 26 pairs and the result will be published in the guide next month. During the study, they first play archery again and then they will relive this experience together through three different methods. Either on the desktop, they were co-watching a 360 degree video or they watch co-watching a 360 degree video in VR, just like Facebook space. Or they were using the prototype relay in VR to relive the experience together in VR. And our study is showing that when people can relate in VR, it has the highest level of immersion, highest social presence. They allows people to understand experience better, and that's the, the method that people prefer to use in the future. And also that we notice that people spend more time to share and discuss during the reliving because they're more likely to explore and discover unnoticed things together in really in VR. So now people can relive the virtual reality experience. How about those meaningful, interesting real life experience? Can they relive in virtual reality? So now the current project I did, which is Relive Reality, is a poster that will be present tomorrow. Is that I I utilize computer vision technique to capture a real life experience in 3D so that the user can relive the experience together later. So as you can see here that I propose a really reality framework that try to utilize various state of the art deep learning based computer vision technique so that you can see people can generate their human model avatar that has the, the details of clothes and hairstyles by just eight video frames. And we can also predict the 3D pose estimation by just a 2D video. And for the environment, we can also reconstruct it through photogeometry. photogrammetry. And again, this full pipeline can only can realize with only a single RGB camera. With all this component that we can relive a past experience together in VR, just like we embody in the Oculus avatar here, and then relive the past experience together. We also conduct a pilot study with six participants. So participants will relive a funny dance movement experience through three different methods, like, like viewing a recorded video or viewing a reconstructed experience on desktop or in VR. And then, uh, not surprisingly, that 
people feel highest emotional satisfaction when they can relive the experience in VR, you also trigger more positive emotions. The interesting finding is that participants seem to have sharing, different sharing behavior decision depends on what they are going to share. If it's a recorded video, they are less likely to share someone that they don't know. But if uh, it's re VR reconstructed experience that allow people to relive in VR, then even for someone they don't know, they still likely to share with them. And we understand better through, through the result from our interview. The reconstructed avatar look like the participant, but they feel they dissociate with those avatars. So it becomes like they feel more comfortable to share to others because they feel they can hide a little bit behind that avatar, even that avatar look like them. And also we know this participant report, they have privacy concern. And the privacy concern on reconstructed virtual environment is more than their reconstructed avatars. Here's a video showing that the computer vision technique now can actually reconstruct the environment in such a great details and quality. But this also raised the concern about like the users say that they will have concern about the privacy in this reconstructed environment. So now we see that people can relive our really their VR experience or real life experience in VR. In addition to those promising results, there are some challenging and issues like the privacy issues. My next step is to pre present a new mechanism. It's called adaptive representation in VR to address these issues. What is adaptive representation in VR? You can imagine every virtual object like the environment or the avatar can have multiple representation. And when different users view the same VR experience, they can view the experience in different representations. Like user 2 here, he view a different representation, different artist style of the environment and also the avatar comparing to user 1, even it's the same VR experience. While this could be helpful, we can lose to the theory the presentation himself from Goldman 1959. In this theory, he described the human social interactions through a dramaturgy model. We can imagine we as an actor, and when we want to perform or share experience to others, we might want to change our presentation. We might want to act differently to better fit to the, the thing we want to demonstrate for different audience. If we look back to the privacy issue we just discussed earlier, Based on the behavioral theory of privacy, people might have different privacy concerns when they share the content to different recipients. Some content they might feel more comfortable to share to families, but less comfortable to share to friends. So we can clearly see that if we can have different representation for the same VR experience, we might allow to satisfy users' need and also preserve the privacy at the same time. One idea would be we can use in non photorealistic rendering or new neural style transfer to adjust the level abstraction of the same VR related experience. So stranger could only see less detail of the, about the experience, but your family can view full detail about your VR related experience. And here's my discussion questions I would like to discuss during the DC meeting. Thank you so much, and I will end my presentation now. Thank you.